Hi, welcome to another eye health episode on my channel. A few times a year, I get patients scheduling in an emergency visit because the white of their eye turns bright red. Now, I don't even mean bloodshot like this. I mean solid red like this. I know it looks scary. That's why in today's video, I'm going to talk all about the cause, prognosis and treatment of the condition called subconjunctival hemorrhage. Stick around. On the surface of the white of the eye is a clear tissue called the conjunctiva, almost like cellophane wrap. Now between the white of the eye and the clear conjunctiva run tiny blood vessels. When these tiny blood vessels leak, the blood gets trapped in the space between the white of the eye and the clear conjunctiva, causing the bloody appearance. Depending on the location of the vessel break, the blood may follow gravity and spread downward until the leak seals itself. Other than its shocking appearance, it actually doesn't cause any change in one's vision, any eye discharge, or even pain. Most people don't find out about it until they check themselves out in the mirror or it's pointed out to them by others. Depending on how much blood is pulled though, the most one may feel is a mild irritation on the affected eye. We may not always be able to pinpoint the exact cause of a subconjunctival hemorrhage, but some of the most common possible causes include violent coughing and sneezing, straining such as holding your breath and exerting energy, vomiting, eye rubbing, and of course, direct trauma and injury to the eye. You may be at higher risk of getting subconjunctival hemorrhages if you have the following risk factors. Diabetes, high blood pressure, blood clotting disorders, and or regular intake of blood thinning medications such as aspirin and warfarin. In general, no treatment is required. The redness will resolve on its own in one to two weeks. Artificial tears may be used for symptomatic relief of mild irritation. In short, if you see a bright red patch on the white of your eye and you show no other symptoms, you may have a case of subconjunctival hemorrhage at hand that looks scarier than it actually is. However, if in doubt, your signs and symptoms vary from what is described in this video, make an appointment to see your local optometrist for proper diagnosis and treatment. As always, please support by hitting the like button to support this channel that aims to provide free eye health videos for those who may benefit. Consider subscribing to learn more about eye health related topics in the weeks coming up and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first one to hear about it. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Reciting. Reciting.